Getty breaking up sucks, but it sucks a lot more if you mindlessly do something shitty that completely ruins your relationship, without even knowing the extent of the damage you're causing. For instance, a recent survey revealed that the biggest deal break is for a woman when you bring her back to your place is having a smelly home, a grimy bathroom, and dingy sheets. So, if she walks through your front door and immediately gets slapped in the face by the malodorous fumes of your piss-ridden toilet and decaying chicken lo mine, S.H.E.S. probably going to leave and never come back. That's just nasty. But just as your home can make women retreat in haste and end a budding relationship, so can certain behaviors, which thousands of women described in full detail in a Reddit thread titled Women of Reddit, What are Red Flags When It Comes to Dating Men? Since nobody has time to read thousands of Reddit comments, I handpicked 15 of the biggest red flags of dating, so that you can do your best to avoid doing them. 1. I was told that when we started dating, I was to install a GPS program onto my cell so I'd know where I was at all times. He flipped when I told him nope, argued that his last girlfriend did it and that's how he caught her cheating so it was a sign of trust. Got TF out of there immediately, undone hair too. Trying to isolate you from friends or family. E0333. Laughing off or ignoring your boundaries are just things you want. Crash fest 4. If they say all women are crazy, except you, hell me a 5. I learned rather early that all my exes are crazy is a gigantic red flag. To have one crazy ex is possible, maybe two, dot, but chances are, if they are all crazy, it's not her fault. Deleted user 6. If they immediately start making plans for your future to get it right out of the gate. You have no idea who I am exicla underscore 947. One of my biggest red flags is when men try to psychoanalyze me on the first few dates. Like if they say let me guess, you're one of those girls who, this is especially worse if they do it based on how I look. I've had guys try to tell me all sorts of things about myself because I was wearing black nail polish. Don't tell me who I am, dude. You just met me, JL Divorce 8. Men who very regularly jokingly describe themselves as an asshole, dick, etc. or make frequent jokes about lack of ability to be committed or are good so. I dated a guy like this mistakenly taking these remarks as self-deprecating jokes because of how they were phrased. Then, when they turn out to be a shitty person, it's not the fault because they warn you. Young Tulip 9. Never date anyone who can't even summon up the decency to be polite to a server, cashier, or other customer service. That'll be you once the honeymoon period is over. Abriyachi 10. I met this guy on Tinder, we texted back and forth for a while. One evening I texted him telling him he'd had a rough day and felt really down. To which he then launched into how his day was worse than mine and whined intensely for half an hour. After which I never replied again. If a woman comes to you saying she is down, it's healthy to try and lift her up. It is not a pissing contest to match her down for down even though misery loves company. Women look for someone who will comfort them, not compete with them. Rixbits 11. More of a universal red flag saying I love you too early. M are molested 12. When they're obviously hiding something and you ask about it and they get mad. Joanna Max 13. If he wants to go through your phone but won't let you go through his phone. Bicklist 14. Refusing to let you keep friends of the opposite sex, especially if it's a lifelong friend that you had before you met them. Ginger Snapsicle 15. Acting like you need the permission to do shit. Singular Potato Daily Mail.